Hi, my name is Brian Veach, and I'm a math instructor at NIU and a cryptography enthusiast. Cryptography is the science of secrecy, and since we all have secrets, we need a way to protect them. And if we want to share that secret with somebody else, we need a way to disguise it so that if anyone gets a hold of it, they can't read it. Cryptography is about creating techniques that disguise those messages. For over 2,000 years, we've used cryptography to send secret messages, military battle plans, assassination plots, credit card numbers, or just simply a message to a friend. Since we're naturally curious, we spend a lot of time trying to figure out other people's secrets. It comes down to a battle between cryptographers and cryptanalysts. A cryptographer's job is to encrypt our information so that it's disguised, usually with the use of a key. A cryptanalyst's job is to break the encryption to reveal the message, usually without the use of a key. But not everybody who uses cryptography has some secret to hide. Most communications are done on phones, text message, or email, all of which have to be secure. Banks need ways of keeping your financial information online private. Credit card numbers need to be encrypted before sent over the internet when you buy things online on sites such as Amazon or eBay. While cryptography is used to protect information, it can be used in more interesting ways. Back in the 16th century, Mary Queen of Scots wanted to assassinate Queen Elizabeth I. Her and her co-conspirators communicated by encrypting messages containing the assassination details. What she did was she took the letters of the alphabet and common words such as and, we, that, and replaced them with symbols. So for example, all of the S's could be replaced with triangles. Now her encryption technique had a problem. Cryptanalysts already had ways of breaking this encryption technique using a method called frequency analysis. So when Queen Elizabeth's spies captured these messages, her cryptanalysts broke the encryption, revealing Mary's plot and assassination details. Uh, she was then arrested. These messages were used in her trial. She was found guilty and eventually executed. Now Mary's story illustrates this tug of war between cryptographers and cryptanalysts. At this point in history, there were stronger encryption techniques that Mary could have used. And if she had used one of these, and a cryptanalyst wouldn't be able to decrypt her messages in time, Mary's fate, as well as Queen Elizabeth's, could have been very different. If you're interested more in cryptography, subjects that you can take in school would include mathematics and computer science.